starting uh, recording. There we go. Okay, so today we officially start, I would say, the second half of our class, of our, I don't know, is it a class? I guess a code camp. Uh, and this is where it gets a little bit more serious. A lot of the things that we'll be doing will be slightly more difficult, uh, but don't fret because they will be nothing that you haven't seen before that you can figure out or that you know you, you can research. Uh, it, it's not that bad or that, again, that you cannot just decipher or figure out from what we learned before. So it, it, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, we do have a list of things that we need to kind of um, go over. I will kind of solidify this, this list and make it a little bit better to read and whatnot. Uh, but um, we still have a bunch of stuff that we need to um, we need to go over and learn. And once we get to that, uh, of course, we have different areas, right? This is just .NET, C Sharp domain. We still have to go over some of these in the front end. And this is some of this on the database. And, of course, some Unity with video game and Xamarin for mobile development. We already went over source control, which I will go over uh, again. Actually, you use GitHub, um, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. So you sort of understand what source control is. It's just a place mm -hmm. where you keep up uh, code. Things. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yes. So, again, these are cool things that we need to do. And once we go over all of these, and even not necessarily some of these, uh, we will be ready to get paid. That that is that's the whole goal, you know, be ready to get paid. Uh, so again, um, moving on and looking into the future, uh, one thing that we're going to be doing from now on is we're going to be working on the same code base, or at least we're going to make it, or I'm going to make it, where we can all have access to the same resources. That way, so far, what we have been doing is we each have our own kind of database, right? We have our local database, and we do all sorts of cool things with our local database. And um, and it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's worked so far, especially for learning, right? But, of course, it gets tricky because then we all... Well, there's two problems with that. It's our local database, so we can, you know, it doesn't, no one else has access to it. And it's not, they might not be 100% the same as other people's because this is your database and you're messing around with it, doing all sorts of things with it, and it might not even be uh, the same data. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a centralized database or a database that we have access that we all have access to isn't that cool that is pretty sweet that is pretty sweet and how do we do that you ask what kind of magic um, do we you know how do we do that how does that happen okay now we're gonna go over here uh, anybody heard of the word cloud is the, the buzzwords these days I guess is the cloud? Ooh, it's a cloud. So, anybody know what it is? Dave, what's the cloud? That's what my company makes. <laughs> is it? Yes, they make the server for Microsoft. Oh, really? Oh, that is awesome because that's what we're gonna be using. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Well, but what, Can you what get is us the hookup? Yeah, get us the hookup, man. I know, right? <laughs> Get them codes, man. Get them codes. Cloud. Hmm. Yeah, what, what's cloud? I mean, what, what's kind of the idea? Off-site database storage system. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, boom. God damn it. That is beautiful. So it's an off-site uh, database storage uh, system. So off right. it's an off-site server, pretty much, right? Right. There's a lot of yeah. server farms everywhere around the globe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Dan, what would you say a cloud is? Would you just agree with that? And I mean, it is, right? Do you have anything? To I add? like that. 
yeah, that's your own information up there and you grab it later. Yeah, yeah. No hardware failures on your side. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So pluses of the cloud. Um, and Emma, uh, you kind of agree with that, sort of? Yeah, Yeah, because you're, you're storing all of this information on the internet instead of your hard drive. Yeah. Um, so then you don't have to worry about it crunching up your hard drive too much. And it's kind of also just like a metaphorical or like imagery of the internet. Yeah, yeah. It represents the internet in a way, pretty much. Yes. Uh, yeah, database and information, pretty much. Database information and web pages, etc. Pretty much all, all these things, right? Um, yeah, so it's an offsite. And um, and since it's offsite, it, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not, you know, we have a, we all have access to it pretty much, right? So offsite, so let's say shared maybe, shared offsite storage because we can all use it, right? I mean, I know it goes without saying, but yes. Um, another cool thing about it that Dan mentioned is that we don't have to, you know, why cloud is good is like we don't have to worry about the server, uh, no server upkeep. We don't have to worry about breaking down. We don't need to fix it. We don't need to do anything to it because all that is done by the people who are um, hosting our, our information. So no upkeep, which is which really it's um, it's really 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 cool. Like uh, well, we don't have to worry about we don't worry about hardware, and not only hardware, but also tuning. But hardware, tuning, etc. Uh, one of the biggest pain in the asses for databases is tuning, making sure that something runs as best as it can. So normally, like, like our, our database are, are at our job, like the, the people who set it up were not that good at database tuning. Actually, they did not do any database tuning. They didn't know anything about it. So our database kind of ran like crap. Um, but now we're kind of getting better at it and learning and doing things. And so our database is you know, becoming faster and better. And you could eliminate a lot of um, you know, problems with it, and you know, not only with speed, but, only, but also size. Okay, so um, yeah, straightforward. Cloud um, offsite storage we can use. We have access to it. We don't have to worry about it. We just say, hey, man, my stuff is down. What's the problem? Fix this shit. Easy peasy, beautiful, right? Nice. Um, so those are the pluses. And that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna be using. Um, one of the cloud storage. What we're gonna be using. Guess who we're gonna be using? All right. Everybody here of uh, what is it? Is it Azure? 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 Oh, it, it, it all depends. All right. How do you guys pronounce this? Someday I'm gonna have my client pronounce that. <laughs> What's that? Someday I have my Microsoft client pronounce that word for me. Yeah, yeah, that people. Yeah. It, it, it's. I mean, it's. Uh, what is it? You have to pronounce the emphasis on the A, I guess. Dan, how do you pronounce this? I pronounce it Azure. It is. Yeah. Uh, I mean. I, yeah. GIF, GIF. Yeah, yeah, Azure. It's a very strong A. Yeah, it's a very strong A, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So there's definitely em emphasis. So so Azure. So that's how we're gonna go, right? Azure. So we're gonna be using Microsoft Azure from now on, which is the cloud service that Microsoft uh, provides. Uh, the other one is well, the other big one. I think it's uh, Amazon. It's called AWS. A W S. Yeah. My uh, company yeah. does that. Oh, right. Oh, because, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you work for, yeah, that is true. Amazon and we got, we got a representative from both. And, uh, and there's others. Was that? We sell the server to both customers, though. No, nice. oh, that's, that's sweet, man. Make money all over the place. <laughs> like an arms dealer, man. You just sell it to both sides of the war. Hey, that, that's yeah. how you make that money. That is how you make that money. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, so we have a uh, yeah, so Azure. I may once in a while just say Azure instead of Azure. Uh, just bear with me. You know what I mean. My accent. Yeah, we or something. all we should understand. That's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Azure, or I just call it Azure because I think it's blue or something. But anyway, okay. So yes, uh, and that's what we're gonna be uh, doing. So t today we're gonna be doing um, going over two services that they provide. One is database. Shablims. So, so far, we have been dealing with our database, you know, pretty, we have our local database uh, using, uh, how do we access our database? How do we interact with it? What software do we use? We use SQL Server. SQL Server, wow. That's right, my friend, yes. Okay, so it's very important that you guys remember this because I um, I said it a few times when we first started uh, using it because of the reason we're about, you know, because what we're about to do today. We're going to be using Microsoft SQL Server, well, SQL Management Studio. Here. With Management Studio, we can connect to what? Dan? I'm sorry. I, I passed out there. What's up? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Wake up. Get that coffee, baby. Get that coffee. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what can we do with SQL Management Studio? What is it for? We're going to connect to our database and, and manage it. That's right. Oh, exactly. Oh, man. That's it. it says it in the name. Look at that. It even says <laughs> server, too. It even says server. It says, basically... SQL Server Management Studio. So you use this studio to manage SQL servers. And in the servers, you have databases. So I'm using this to connect. To I'm, I'm even going to close it. I'm going to close it. Look at that. I'm going to open it again. I know you guys know this, but it's kind of important for you to see it happening. Okay. So I'm going to open Management Studio. And when I open it, it's like, hey, man, what... What database server do you want to connect with? Right now, I want to connect to my local server, which is called SQL Express. So I'm going to say, hey, connect. Let's do this. So I'm connected to my server. And in my, my server, I have databases. I have a database called GameDB. And it has tables, the tables we created, which is pretty cool. And, and there it is. So. Yeah, so I can use it and I could do all sorts of things. I could um, create more tables, delete tables, add data, do, do all sorts of cool things. And we're all good with that. Well, at least Emma's not totally good with but she, she's getting there. She's getting there. Okay. So we are going to do that. Um, I have gone ahead and are you guys ready? Shablips! Okay, now this is pretty sweet. What you're looking at here, um, Emma, are you able to see this, uh, the whole thing, or only part of it? Um, I have like a bit of a weird formatting on my iPad, so I'm trying to get Discord up on my laptop, and there's oh, okay. some issues, but I can, I can kind of get the gist of what you're showing. Okay, all right, got it. <laughs> it can be hard to see on the smaller. Yeah. Screen. Yeah, well, it's just how they split the screen into or like basically into quarters. Yeah. Um, so you have like a tiny little strip, but I'm able to still follow along. I'm just okay. To get no problem. On my laptop. Yeah. Also remember, we got the video also, so. Okay. Yeah, we're sure. recording. Okay. Um. So here we are. Uh, this. Do you guys remember how Visual Studio is pretty much our bread and butter? That's where we live. That that's that's where it all happens. That's the magic, right? In Visual Studio, we that's where most of you know that's where we program, that's where we do all our work. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're good with that. Okay. Now you guys need to become very familiar or somewhat familiar with this page here. It is portal.assure.com. Uh, I will update this. I will be sending login information and all the information that you need. Um, 
for for all these pages and how to connect and how to use these services okay um, I can't uh, show it right now because it's on the video so then you know I mean I could probably change it later but you get what I mean security and whatnot but anyway uh, yes so I have created our portal this is our dashboard this belongs to us who does it belong to us yes. uh, that's right so and now we have a cloud look at this we're in the cloud man we're, we're chilling mm -hmm. we're hanging here and uh, so the first thing our account is called HM code camp which stands well at outlook.com but yeah it says HM code camp uh, and that is at outlook.com okay um, so th this is where we're gonna be um, doing all sorts of cool stuff this is where, where we're gonna be hosting and keeping our data uh, we're gonna go one by one we're gonna take it easy and uh, you know th it's gonna be pretty good once we understand what's happening now um, I think it's better to do these one by one somewhat or like uh, from the beginning but I don't want to do it all the way from the beginning because it might um, confuse us or, or take too much time but you know what let's go ahead and do it uh, just so you know I have already um, created a database for us and a database server and an app service uh, we don't know what that is yet but we will go over it um, in a little bit okay so now uh, first things first is well let me ask you a question let me let me let, let, let me ask you a question here um, I already said the server and the database okay now if I were to ask you how would I connect to a database how what would you say I need to do this is just a random question you don't need to know it or just you know uh, Dave how would you do it if you just you know just off the top of your head um, how to do it well how would you I mean if I wanted to well first of all where is this database that I have created in the SQL Server Management Studio. Well, well, that answered my question somewhat, but that was a, a different question. But yes, well, again, uh, let me ask you a question, guys. I know it's a very simple question. I created a database server, a SQL Server, in a database. Where is this hosted? In the cloud. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's easy. Yeah, I'm asking easy questions here. But it's very important that we say it ourselves. We said, like, hey, our database is in the cloud. It's out there somewhere. Okay. And if I wanted to access this database, I could probably use SQL Management Studio. Uh, because this is the software that we use to uh, access and manage databases, right? I mean, it makes sense. Uh, so for example, uh, I would say something like, oh, well, look at this. Let's say that this is just some server name somewhere, right? And actually, let's just be make believe that this is our server out there on the cloud. And we're going to try to connect to it. Uh, we this might not work because of security. Uh, damn it. Hmm. Let's just actually, hmm. Let me just get in here because, well, I'm gonna, I don't want to have to do this twice, so I'm not gonna do it for now. It's fine. All right. I just wanted to show you guys something, but yeah all right what I'm going to do is just start from scratch and let me see how could I do this 
I'm going to delete this. Game. Oh man, I don't want to delete this. Man, I'm dying here. I am dying here. <laughs> because I created a beautiful database with a beautiful. Um... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Eh, screw it. Screw it. This is for learning anyway. Type the database name. What's the name of the database? GameDB. Goodbye, my sweet prince. Uh, but this is good for us. Um, well, the thing is, once we... Do you guys need to set up the database instead of just using it? What would you prefer? I mean, for the most part, we're going to be using it. It probably wouldn't be yeah. bad to know how to set it up, but if we're not ready for that at this point, we can skip it. <laughs> You can, okay, how about we meet halfway? Cha-ching! Yes. That's what we're doing. We are meeting halfway. Um, I have created the server. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to recreate the server. But um, I'm just going to, we're going to use it. Because if you guys need to create new databases, I mean, if you get, if you guys need to create anything with data, it would be a new database at, at max. You will not have to create a server. So let's go ahead and use the server that I have created. So let's create a database uh, using the SQL server that I already created. Okay, so now you guys have to help me out here. Remember, this is an interactive class uh, as much as it can be, I guess. So if I wanted to create a cool database, I'm on the dashboard here and I'm like looking at things over here. And then it's like Dora the Explorer. Anybody tell me where I could create a database? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, do you guys see it over here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> SQL databases. So I'm gonna go here. So remember, we're, we're, we're being cool. We're here in the cloud. We're, we're being in a cool stuff here. This is pretty nice. So, okay. No. SQL databases to this place, and we don't have any databases. So um, well, let's go ahead and then create that bad boy. Okay. Um, there we go. So you guys see this? This is. Uh, I'm gonna move this here so you can probably see it a bit better. Um, so what is the name? Enter database name. Game DB. Subscription. Yeah, sure. Free trial. Uh, use existing. Where I already created some of these things, like a resource group. Uh, select blank database. The server. This is the server that we um, that we created. Uh, pricing. What is this? Um, I'll just get the basic, I guess. Sure. I don't know. Uh, basic collation. You don't have to worry about that. Into dashboard, I guess. Okay, so I'm just entering some information to create my database here. Uh, so far, do all of these options make sense? All it's asking for, hey, what do you want the database name to be? And is it a blank database? And, I mean, yeah, this is just going to be a blank database for now. And under what server do you want to do you want to do it? All right, I'm going to hit create. And let's see what happens. Okay, so deployment in progress. It will take a little bit because it's uh, it's in the cloud. You know, it's like the little gnomes and goblins are working on the cloud, doing um, cloud stuff and, and, and goblin stuff. And gnome stuff, too. All right. So... Uh, once that happens, we should have our cool uh, database. Uh, so again, I know this sounds stupid and I keep saying it and I keep asking you, but it's very important that I keep asking you this because it needs to be real, it needs to be um, concrete. I have just created a server, a database on our server. And this database exists somewhere in... Um, on the cloud and some servers handled by Microsoft Azure, right? I mean, you guys agree with that, right? There you go. 
Deployment succeeded. Yay! Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay, so now um, they give you information about the database that you have created. Uh, for example, you guys can see my screen. Uh, what is the name of our database? It is Game. called GameDB, yeah. And what is the server name? That's right. So this is the server name. This is uh, it's, so it, it's kind of important, isn't it? I mean, like our server name. Uh, we'll I want mean, to connect to that at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna save this here. So this is the server name, and so this is the name of of my database server. Pretty much here. Uh, so whenever I want to access it, I say, "Hey, man, this is uh, try to access this bad boy here." Okay, um, Dave, are you good with server name and what it is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Dave, uh, Dave, you're good, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Emma. Um, Emma, are you there? Well, I think she stepped away for a bit. Okay, so. Um, yeah, all it is is just a server name, so we can access it. And here we are. It just gives you give us some information, free trial, basic tier pricing, all all the stuff. We got connection strings and whatnot. Okay, so that is all. All you know, we got a lot of tools here which we don't need. Uh, really, all we need to know about our database currently is just a server name because that's how we're going to access it, and that's how we're going to do. Uh, things. So let's go back to our dashboard. Okay, so do you guys see our database here? Here we go. Look at that. So now our database exists on the cloud on the server here. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, now, uh, let's see. Dan. Um, I have created a database called GameDB. I want to access that database, and I would like to do things with it. I would like to create tables, and I would like to interact with my database. Uh, I would like to manage my database. How would I do that? Uh, are you suggesting we open a SMS? Indeed. Indeed I am. Indeed I am. So if I want to manage my database... I am going to use the manager, well, the manager studio, management studio. So I'm going to open it. Here we go. So now, was that? Nothing important, sorry. Oh, no problem. So now I'm in management studio and I say, okay, it's so a server type and the server name. So, hey, man, um, what's the name of the server that I want to access? Anyone know? I already forget it. Hardcore mofos. There it is. I copy and pasted it. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now um, I have created this. Um, let's try. Um, it will not let us use Windows Authentication because it doesn't know what it is. At least not right now. So we need to say SQL server authentication which is you give it a login it's a um, you give it a password and a user ID uh, I have already set this up ahead when I created this so I will go ahead and I will um, I will enter it uh, I have I will be sending you this information by the way I can't really just post it and paste it right now because then it'll like on the video and whatnot. So, oh, actually, that's a good question. Does anybody else have access to the variables document? So I don't think I distributed the uh, code. Oh, that's important. Oh, I, I know it. I don't. Yeah, we need it all. We need it all. Yeah, so send that out um, whenever you can. It's important uh, that we all have it, especially after today. Um, and I'm going to be, again, I'm going to be sending you these logins and passwords. That way you can have access to it. 
Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to connect here. Uh, maybe a little bit weird here trying to connect, but bear with me. So again, server name. It is the name of our cloud server and our login information. Here we go. Okay, so hey man, in order to you to, um, I need to sign in pretty much. It's not because uh, my IP is not recognized. Just some security stuff. That's fine. Uh, sign in. Uh, we are going to use our, um, let me see, code camp at Outlook. Dot com. I believe that is our is that our account? HM code camp at outlook.com. Yeah, so we go here. Next. Okay, what is the password? Uh, let's see. Hopefully I can remember the password. Let's see. So hey, it's telling me. I am not signed in. All right, there we go. Now it just so um, so now I'm I'm signed in. It did it for me. So at my client IP, which I will do from here. Just say okay. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, you can. Welcome back. Just switch. Yeah. Thank you. I just switched on my PC. I was having tech issues. Okay. Cool. Oh no problem. Yeah. That sounds a lot better. I think screen so I can actually see what's happening oh there we go yeah because these letters are very tiny I, I need to freaking is tiny oh my god um, yeah all right my goodness this is can you guys see <laughs> I hope you can it's a bit blurry but I can see yeah it's uh, I need to up the tech somehow which I will can't do that right now but soon soon I will okay so anyway I have used server management to connect to our database and it tells you hey man look at that you're in uh, database.windows.net I'm out there on the cloud and I'm gonna look at databases and uh, oh yes there we go oh no it didn't keep it Ah, uh, well, that's fine. Okay, so these are the databases that I have on the server. And remember, I created GameDB. Uh, mm. You guys you guys remember that, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't remember it, but I can see what you're indicating right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, we created it here. Uh, this, we created it in the cloud. Uh, this is that database. So we're connected to this database in the cloud using uh, Server Management Studio. And again, sorry, it's really tiny. I hope you guys can see. Um, and yeah, so we're connected to the cloud right now. We're clouding it. We are clouding it. We're rocking this. And this is the new database that we created. Uh, this is what a you know, database looks like, normal database. Uh, we're going to see the tables. There are no tables, new, new tables, really. There's zero tables right now for us that we can use. Uh, so therefore, let's go ahead and let's create let's create a cool quick table. Um, let's do that. Okay, are we ready? Uh, I'm gonna go. You guys know how how to create tables, right? So yeah. I'm just gonna do this kind of quick. Mm -hmm. And remember, we are kind of interacting with the server in the cloud, so sometimes it might take a few seconds more. Um, than usual. So what we're going to be doing is creating a database called character, which is going to uh, be of, of characters uh, in a game, pretty much. Uh, could be Dungeons and Dragons, any kind of character. So we're going to create a generic character uh, table that holds um, character information. So let's just, I'm just doing it kind of quick, right? Uh, name, uh, class, um, I had a really good one before, which um, kind of, well, yeah. uh, class, into our car, uh, level, uh, this is int, um, HP. Again, I'm doing this kind of quick, so bear with me. 
and P. Um, I had something else, the uh, type as well, which we will be we will end up using um, later on because we're going to have different types. Um, all right, name, class, ID. I know we're missing something, and it yeah. bothers me. Well, yeah, well, that's what class is. I'm going to make it class and type. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to cheat. And I am going to connect to our other database. Is it race? Yes. Yes, sir. I'm just going to look at our other table here, see what we forgot. Yes, we forgot race. Oh, yes. And our car uh, wins, losses, and draws. Yes, which we forgot uh, last time, I think. Uh, let's see. I think we forgot draws last, last time. Uh, yeah, so we got it all. I think yeah. we got it. Okay, beautiful. And well, primary. Almost forgot the primary key. Make it primary key, and uh, just to make it easier for us, I'm gonna make this uh, this kind of uh, identity. All right, and I am going to save this as table character. This is gonna be it's just it's just character. That's all. We're gonna be using this table kind of a, as the base table. If we're gonna create other tables, we can use this as the base because it contains kind of the basic information for most characters that we will be able to create. Correct? Does that? Do you guys agree with that? Um, yeah. Uh, that that's kind of how it is. It because the tables and we have created it, and I'm gonna do a refresh. And so there we are, Princes of the Universe, right here. Um, I wonder if they're going to make a remake of that, hmm. Highlander. Uh, could, they're about due for it at this point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I am going to see what is inside our uh, character table. Okay, how many records do we have inside our character table currently? Well, we don't have any, right? Because we... Yeah, no, well, I don't see any. Well, no, yeah, we, we just created the table, so it's empty. <laughs> so it can't have any. Um, and and that is cool. So I have a nice table, man. Look at that. That is an... I'm, I'm proud of this table. This is a very nice table. You guys like this table? It's, it's nice. Crazy. It's nice. It's very <laughs> nice. So again, man, isn't this great? Look at this. We're accessing a database in the cloud... And, and it's pretty cool. So the best thing about it is that once I give you guys the information, the login information, you will be able to use the same database and interact with this same table and add fields, uh, records to this table and take them away and update them. So whenever we work on any kind of project, uh, and we could be, you know, we will be using the same database, and that's going to be really cool. So whenever, let's say I create a, a temp project, I mean a, a sample project or, or some kind of a little program, um, and then I give it to you, uh, it should work. It will work because um, the connection to the database is the same. It's, it's pretty much the same or it's similar. Um for, so if if the database were like wasn't my local database and you would have pretty much no way of accessing it. So uh, yeah, I mean I just I just think this is really cool that we can all access now uh, the same database, the same data, and you guys can create uh, different tables. You could create your own tables. Can you hear me? Yeah. So here we go. Um, so far so good. So far so good. Okay. Good. 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 Um, now for the next step, we have a database, we have a cool database, um, 
and we know that is out there in the cloud, but really, do we really know that is out there in the cloud and that we can interact with it? See, we can test that. We can test it. We can like, ooh, you know, and uh, we we could. So now, let's 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 see what else we can do. Okay, so let let's close all this, and now let's go to our Visual Studio and see what kind of things we can do here. Okay, so what I want to do is create a test project, just a sample project. Let's create a sample project and from scratch, I'm just gonna say new project and I'm gonna call it cloud test or something, I don't know. Cloud test, and you guys already know this by heart, right? We're doing an ASP web, naming it cloud test, hitting OK. What kind of uh, project are we dealing with right now? MVC. Then I'm going to go OK. Give it a couple of seconds so we can get ready. I'm going to take a little drink here. <coughs> Here we are, and um, we have our, our sample um, right here. We, we have our sample project, which is, um, again, I mean, I went over this with Emma uh, kind of briefly. Remember, Emma, whenever we do that, it creates a sample web page for you, a, sa a sample web application for you. It's a very simple one, uh, but it's pretty cool. Because remember, if I do this, if I run it, it will um, create, you know, use a local, a fake web server, kind of emulate a web server. And it's going to show us the cool uh, web page that, that we have. Again, this is kind of a, a web page that is already made, was already made for us. We will... When we work on our stuff, we, we're we not going to be using this, none of this. We're just going to be using blank pages or pages that we created using HTML. But for now, to make things easier, we're just going to use this one. Uh, is that cool? And I might need to hang out with you after this just to figure out what's going on with my uh, Visual Studio because mine is a different version. Yeah, yeah, that's why Even it's Even though it's like, 2017. No, no, it's, it depends on the things that you install at the beginning. You might need to reinstall it or just like install extra things. But yeah, we will. Okay. No, no worries. Um, okay, so here we are. And again, this is the web page. Uh, and th this is how it is. Um, but the cool thing that we're trying to do here is that we want to, this is a little bit advanced. Uh, you're, not, you're not familiar with Entity Framework yet. Um, but, you know, hang in there, hang with us, and uh, hopefully you can follow along here. Okay, so uh, Dave <clears throat> and Dan, yeah. if, I, if I wanted to connect to that database, uh, our cloud database, and how would I do that? If I wanted to make a connection to our database, what do I need? Well, to our server. In Visual Studio. Yep. Uh, well, I want to use Entity Framework to use the class, um, the class that we have. I want to use this character. I want to use Entity Framework to interact with this database in this class. Well, in this table here, the character table. So, in the end, what we want to do is, I want to be able to use Entity Framework to be able to add. And uh, yeah, to be able to add character characters to this uh, database. Um, so this if we team. wanted to to get into the database to do all that, we would want to hit the tools. Ah, okay. There we go. Tools right here. What do I need? What do I need? Connect to database. That's okay. right. There you go. Connect to database. That's what I'm talking about. So you still have your copy paste in there. I I hope I do. 
Uh, oh, whoops, yeah, let me see. Um, I might not, but then again, I think this is it here. Let me just recopy and paste. Okay, so when I bring this up, it's, it's going to ask me, hey, what server name do you want to uh, try to get in here? So I'm going to say, hey, my server name is this. And how do you want to log into that server? I want to use server authentication because I have a password and I have an ID. And I believe uh, it's HM Code Camp. And the password, <clears throat> I think this is what it is. It's been a while. So, okay. Gotta cut my nails. Okay, so if I if I type this correctly, if this information is correct, when I hit this drop down, it should have the name of the database that are on this server. So I'm gonna do that now. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So game DB. So there we go. I like double boom like blip. So game DB. So I want to connect to this database here, and I'm gonna hit OK. Boom. So I have a connection now to the database. This doesn't really mean much. All it is is just that I have a connection to the database. Um, I mean, it does mean a lot. So now, how do I want to use that connection to our benefit to interact with that? How do I want to use that connection to interact with the database? There are many different ways, or there's a few. And the one we have learned is called Entity Framework. So how do I use Entity Framework with that connection to, you know, to connect to GameDB, to our database? Um, Dave, do you remember? Hmm? How do I connect an <laughs> Entity Framework? I think you have to go to Build. All right, Build. And then it's... I always get this one wrong, so don't feel bad. <laughs> I think Dan was the one that remembered last time. It's add, I think. Yeah, on the right, on the Solution Explorer. Solution Explorer. Um, I think you have to do it. Add item. Yeah. Add, yeah. New item, I think. Here wow, we go. that is a bit tricky. Yeah. I mean, we have it in the notes written down. It's, uh, it's one of these dudes, and then add item. Okay, so um, let me see. We're looking for data. I think we're looking for data or not. I mean, one second. Uh, that might that might not have been it. Uh, did I mess up my project somehow? Oh, okay, so maybe project add new item perhaps. Hmm. Let's see. I think I messed up my project somehow. Okay. <laughs> Let's see performance. This is really weird. Uh, hmm. This is really odd. Project at existing item. Data source. All right, this is really weird. Let me um, look under our uh, hmm, SQL server. Yeah, this is really weird because I, I did this earlier today and that's kind of what I did, I think. Unless I'm forgetting something. I've got a screen share going on if you want to see it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so what do I yeah, do? Yeah, sorry, my screen is a weird orientation. <laughs> yes, so where do you go? Uh, yeah, that's what we're supposed to have. I'm supposed to have that as well. I wonder if I created the wrong kind of a project? No, that, that should be the same. Again, I did this just before. Um, I got here. 
yeah, that is really odd that I don't have that. And you did the same thing, right? Hmm. Do you do it in solutions? That is odd. Hold on. Yeah, let me try that once more because that is that is freaky. Like, what's going on? Yeah, this is really odd. Um, hmm. Add new item. Oh, okay, there it is. It's here. All right, I got it back. Is that that's the same document? <laughs> That is freaking weird. Okay, let, let me try it one more time. Because it might be under something else. Okay, so add new item. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think I have to yeah add it to the actual project. That's what it is. At, at least on this one. All right, anyway. Uh, yeah, add new item, and we want a data project, and <clears throat> excuse me, and we want to. Yeah, I was adding it to the wrong place. Uh, it's under. I have to add it to the project. Okay, so we want a data project, and we want the ADO.NET data model. And I'm just gonna call it DB model. Okay, here we go. And we have the EF designer from database. So, I mean, we all know what that does. So, yes, well, at least. Um, okay, this is our database. And, yeah, sure, include the same set of, set of information. That is fine. At least it's okay for now. Uh, game DB entities, and that is okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, next, Entity Framework 6. Uh, do not pluralize. And we want tables. Uh, let's call it game DB model. Yeah, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we click finish. Yeah, what I think it was, it was adding, I was trying to add the wrong item to the wrong project. That was freaky though. Okay, so give it a second here. Always, whenever it deals with database um, mapping and some of these files, um, are, they, they take a while because they're very building these things, it's, it's a bear. Like some of these um, database mapping files. All right, got to do the the Jeopardy thing, Jeopardy music anyway. Do do. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. So now we have created the e uh, well EDMX. This is the model uh, of the database. And well, so do you guys see what just happened though? I was able to get the model from the database in the cloud. And there it is, that's the EDMX, and that is this is the class here. Uh, it created the character class uh, for us. And let's see what it looks like. Does the character class have all the information that we created in the database on the same table? On the table. Um, it does, look at that. Pretty sweet, name, class, level, all that good stuff. All right. And uh, yeah, so we have, a, we have a class. We have an entity framework class that we can interact with, and we have a connection to the database. So now that we have that, um, I'm going to close this. And again, we have the character class, and we have the database connection. I think we call it database entity or something like that. Uh, so now what I want to do is I am going to create an action. Let's, let's take with the home controller. <coughs> Sorry. 
Uh, let's stick with the home controller. Um, and again, sorry, I'm, I know this is a little bit weird. <laughs> I mean, you're not familiar with this, but just hang in there. I'm pretty sure you sort of understand a little bit of what's happening here. And this, this is good to see, I think. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to call uh, create character. This is an action. I'm going to call it create character. And when I go to this action, I am going to create a character in the database. So I want to create a character in the database. Uh, what what do I need to do? Uh, Dan, what's the first thing? You need to create an instance of the database. That's right. Database connection. Beautiful. So I'm going to call it database. Uh, and it is new. What, what did I call it? Uh, entity something? Game DB's entities. It's a crappy name for a database connection, but it will have to do for now. The entity framework uh, likes to use that word for your database. Too. Yeah, yeah, not a very good word, but I, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so now this is uh, we have access. We have access to our. Um, Game DB. Um, well, this is our database connection that we call the database. So now, from now on, we have access to um, the database, our cloud database, which is in the cloud. Pretty, pretty sweet. So, um, well, I have. Uh, we have character. So, if I wanted to insert a new character into our database in the cloud, uh, Dave, how do I do it? Sure. Now let's call it new character. All right, let's create one. There you go. All right, so who do we want to create? Go ahead. New character. What's the name? All right. If you cannot, we're all creative tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Step it up. Come on. All right, I'll, I'll make it up. Um, Is there an Arthur Dan? Man, no, no, Arthur. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, yeah, that's the go to. Yeah, I guess Arthur Dad is it. <laughs> yeah. the, the BBC series is on uh, Netflix now. Oh, I was watching it the other day. I'm all yeah. in. It's like one of the best things to put in the background or just, just to chillax. It was really good. Forget how good it is. Um. <laughs> Okay, well, his name is Race. I guess he is a human. Uh, and what about what about his class? What class would Arthur Dent be? Knight. Useless. <laughs> well, he's probably useless. Well, he's very lucky, though. Well, he makes very sandwiches. Lucky. He makes sandwiches. He's a <laughs> sandwich maker. There you go. He is a sandwich maker, and yeah. That's what he does. And he's not very strong. So we're just going to give him maybe like 10 hit points or something. I don't know. And again, let's just give him his level one. All right. Equals one. So I have created a, a character, an instance of a character. Um, so now I have a character here. How do I, um, well, it, it's in there, but is it in the database yet? No. No? How do I put something in the database? Uh, database uh, save? Well, I, well, be, before I save it, what? Add, where the, add it. Yeah. Add it to what? Okay, there you go. You guys got it. Yeah. Well, I need to add it to the character table. Yeah. Add. So I need to add new character to the character table. And then it's on there. It's in the table. So, but now I need to save those changes. I need to send those changes over and actually save them. Uh, database. And the way I do that is I do database save changes. And then I return 
some kind of view which doesn't exist. Uh, we don't have it. I'm just going to go ahead and... You don't have to return a view, do we? Not really, no. But I, I'm just going to copy and paste and just say, hey, character created or, or something. Uh, just, just to be cool, just so we don't have any red screens. Uh, what do we call it? Create character. Here, right here, and I'm just gonna do it with all of this and say character created. So that should somewhat work, I hope. Um, yeah, create character, put in the database, to flip, flip, flip. Um, well, I'm, I'm, let's run it. Let's see if it, I mean, it might totally crash because we're, there's something wrong with our, our, um, our connection. But let's see. I mean, because it would be pretty cool if it works that when I'm using this local application and we have a connection to our cloud database, it would be nice if I could, you know, if you could create something just from for the cloud. Um, ooh, what was that? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, okay, so home. What is it? Create character. Okay, so I am. Hmm. Should I set breakpoints, or you just guys want to do this because you know what's going on? Let's do it. Okay. I'm down. Uh, I'm doing it. All right, Here jump in. Okay. Boom. Oh, look at that. Character created. So, well, first of all, it didn't crash. And we reached this page here. So that means that all of this was executed and we did not crash. And, um, and we managed to go to this page, which pretty much is here so we got to you know we got to this part here and uh, now how can I check if this character that we have just added made it to the cloud look in the database there we go so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna refresh this and um, and look in our database I'm gonna see give me the top rows of this database here and let's see if we have any kind of information oh look at that Pretty sweet. Do you guys see that? So, mm -hmm. that is really nice. I mean, Arthur Dent, the sandwich maker, was the first one to ever make it onto our database in the cloud, which is really apt, I think. That, that's actually because he's always ending up in places that he shouldn't be or that, you know, he's just random. Or that he should be and he just ends up there uh, by chance. So it is, uh, it is pretty nice. Uh, of course, you know he's a human. Level one, HP ten, and all that good stuff. So, so th this is this is pretty nice. This is very very nice here. Um, hmm, so far so good. I mean, are you guys understanding so far what what we've been doing? Are you are you digging it? That's, uh... Okay. Good. So far, I'm so picking good. up as much as I can. Yeah, no, don't don't worry. I yeah, it, it's um if you pick up anything over maybe half or twenty five percent, then you're picking up a lot, <laughs> because a lot of this stuff you're not used to doing. Like this environment, you're not used to it yet. But once you once you get used to it, it'll be kind of second nature. Okay, so look at that, man. Isn't isn't this really really cool here? Very nice. Very nice. So now we have access. So what happens if I do it again? Let's create another character here. Um, this time, well, I need, I need to, let's see. Who do we want to create? Let's create Prince. Oh, yeah. Is he human? Actually, no. Let's create David Bowie. I want to create David Bowie. David Bowie. At least we still got David Bowie, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David Bowie, human. I guess, you know, he, he god. Oh, no, he's a goblin king. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, David Bowie is a goblin king. 
Uh, let's give him 22 health. All right. So I'm going to run it again. I just want to do this one more to make sure, you know, so, so it, it gets in. I want to create David Bowie. So we're going to go to create character and see where, you know, if David Bowie ends up on our database. Okay. Actually, I don't even need to wait because I think the server is already up, but it's fine just to be cool. Uh, we are in a home and we're going to do create character. There we go. Character created. Let's go to our database, refresh the date, refresh it. And there it is. David Boy is right there, the Goblin King. All right. So that is, that is pretty solid. Um, normally I would have one of you, uh, I would give you this code and then just have you add something, but we could do that another time or we could do it later. And that way we, you know, we can show, well, in the next one, I think we need to show that we're accessing, um, the same database, but you guys need to set it up first, I think with the password and whatnot. Okay. So databases, we, um, I think we have mastered. Um, so now in your resume and when you guys see things out there on monster or indeed.com, it's like, hey, have you guys used Azure with SQL? <laughs> you could say, fuck yeah, that's right. And, uh, and yeah, and, and you have because it's not that complicated. It, it isn't. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you you've used you use Azure, uh, you use cloud uh, with databases and um, yeah and that that's that's the truth. You have used it. Uh, so and of course you know you're gonna get better because you will be using this um, out there. Okay, so now I want you guys to um, so SQL Server boom check. Game DB or database check. We're totally good with that with the cloud. Um, the next thing that we are going to be doing with the cloud, we're going to be doing three things with the cloud. One is the database. Two is we're going to be hosting our website or our application online. We're going to be hosting it in the cloud. And that is pretty cool too, right? That's, I think, personally, I think that is better than uh, the database. Actually, it's even better when you can host both the database and your web application online. Uh, let's see. So, I have, well, the way that the cloud or Azure hosts uh, websites for your web applications is through something called app service. They call it an app service. Um, do we need to write that down, I guess? Oh, yeah. Uh, web page, um, web application. Ooh. Uses app, what is it, app service? Azure. Okay. So all this is, is your, uh, you upload your code, your HTML pages and your DLLs and whatnot. And you, um, it hosts it for you and it runs the web page for you as if it was, um, one of those Wix websites or pretty much anything. It, it's hosting a website. That's all it's doing. It's just that it makes it very easy to do so. Uh, so I have already go ahead. I mean, gone ahead and sort of done it. Um, can you guys hear me? Sorry. Let me hmm? make sure. Yeah. yeah like the ears there. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you guys see okay? Just making sure I don't lose you. Okay. So... Yeah, because the next part, the next part is kind of important. So, um, 
Oh, okay, got you, got you. Well, let me just do a double check. Uh, Dave, are you good? Yes, I'm good. Okay, Dan, Emma? Yeah. Okay, I think Emma, yeah. Oh, I, I, at least she can hear us. But, okay, so, uh, continuing. Uh, so, we're going to have the cloud or Azure, Azure host our, uh, our application. Um, and this is going to be really, really cool. I, I already went up, went ahead and did it. But you know what I'm going to do? Let me see if I can delete it. I am going to delete it. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead like this. Hopefully it doesn't bone me too hard because I know... Uh, what is the name of the app? That code camp. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, crap. Delete this app service plan to prevent unexpected charges. Delete. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I am going to delete this. It is deleting it. So I am going to go back to our dashboard. And in our dashboard, we have our server and we have a cool database. So I want the cloud to host our web application. Okay. Uh, the way we do that is that we go to App Services. And I am going to create an app service. Um, don't get too, too hung up on this. I mean, we always have the video. And you could always fiddle around and just figure it out yourselves. But don't get too hung up if you don't memorize, you know, if you don't memorize how to do this right now. It's totally okay. Okay, so I'm gonna the well the one thing you need to do is that you need to click on this app services, <laughs> which we have taken notes of. So create app service. Uh, and what do we want to do? We want to do it's a web app. That's what we're doing, correct? Yeah. yeah, yeah, right here. So I'm going to click on this and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to create it. I'm going to say create. And I want to, what, what do we want to call it? Well, let's call it HM Code Camp just to, just to you know, be cool. It's called Hardcore Motherfuckers Code Camp, but just HM for short. Wink, wink. Uh, and I'm just gonna I created something called a resource group which you could just use there uh, into dashboard okay so I'm going to create it this is pretty straightforward I just enter a name create the web application that you want to be you know you want us hosting so I'm gonna go ahead create it deployment in progress look at that so it's telling us hey man we're working on your website just give me a couple of minutes and we'll take care of this for you it's probably gonna yeah it's probably gonna take a little bit a few seconds or a minute and I'm gonna take a little bit of a sip of this water right here mm -hmm. oh in the meantime while this is happening oh um, there you go it, it happened so our our web application, our website, um, is out there in the cloud now. So are you guys ready to see something cool? Watch this, which is I'm going to copy. Um, this is our URL. I'm going to go there. Are you guys ready? Look at this. Look at this. I am going to go there because it's cool. Look, look. If I go to that website... HM Code Camp, Hardcore Motherfuckers, Code Camp, dot sure website, dot net. I'm going to go to it. Cha ching! So now, this is where, you know, this is our website. This is our, um, this is where we're going to have our website. This is pretty much where we're going to keep our stuff here uh, our files, our projects, or, well, just our projects. Um, 
Okay, so yeah, so all this is is just an IIS, some kind of web server that is serving our, our pages, which is on the cloud. This is what it looks like now when you go to it. Okay, uh, so far so good here. Are you guys good with this? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys know where we're at. Okay. Dave, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. So th this is so this is our website now. This is uh, our URL. It says like, hey man, you want to see my website? Um, go over here. Check it out. Uh, well, the cool thing is that there's nothing there right now. It's just like they just have this this template. Uh, this kind of like a, a whole. I don't know. A template just just holding place a placeholder I think that's what they call it. yeah so there's not much here right now but you know what, what can you do so now I want to show you guys something really cool uh, cloud test this is the cloud test here um, in our index page let's see I'm gonna mess around well when we run this page here, right? This is a local page. And I'm gonna run it. And remember, this is what it looks like here. And if I wanted to create a character, I would go to home slash create character, correct? It's pretty straightforward. So application name, ASP, home, all this stuff here. And that that's what it is here, blip. So I am for now I'm just gonna say like hey this is the home for hardcore motherfuckers right here okay so this is the home so when I run it and that's right look at that this is the local one here this is the home for hardcore motherfuckers and we got this here. Again, this is just a sample application that came with uh, this project. And it's pretty cool. So now, and our own website on the cloud doesn't really have much. So now, are you guys ready for the magic, the cool stuff? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so this, this is gonna be cool. So I hope you guys are ready here because this is gonna be pretty sweet. So now I'm going to do something on their build and I am going to publish this project here, this web page or web application that we have been working on. I'm going to publish it. And when I publish it, let's see what happens, um, what, what kind of options I get. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I'm saying, hey, man, hey, where do you want to publish this thing? Uh, do you want to publish to a folder, an Azure virtual machine? Oh, oh shit, look at that. An app service. Do we own an app service or anything that is like an app service? Uh, well, yeah, we do. We, we in fact, have um, an app service, which, again, it is kind of um, all it is is just web hosting for an application. But they call it an app service. Yeah, so we do. We have one. And so you say, like, yeah, I, I want to do that. And I want to, it's an existing one, so select existing. And um, let's see what kind of inform. well, let's see what kind of choices I get. Uh, so, well, hopefully it's existing. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, it might not work. Or in my, I don't know, let's see what happens. So select so existing. Let's see what the next screen gives me. Oh, okay. So, oh, so it knows that I am part of this code camp here. And it knows my resource group. And, uh, yeah, so I want to, where do we want to, uh, oh, okay. So this is our app. This is our app right here. This is our app service here. So again, all this is is just the name of your web service. It's just a fancy name for your web service that is hosting your application in the cloud. So I'm going to hit OK. Let's see if this works. We're not sure if it's going to work, but let's see. I'm going to hit OK. 
is trying to do stuff here doing some more stuff it's compiling my code right now and checking to see if it compiles and then if it compiles and it says hey okay your code works I'm gonna try to see if I can get it ready to be published on the web so right now that's what it's doing it might take a little bit but if it does work and it, it's uh, if everything goes through they should be able to um, well deploy here all right so just give it a minute here uh, let's see I guess it's taking a little bit longer than I thought hmm Publish start it. Well, I guess it's slow because it's doing something with with the internet. And maybe my internet is slow, right? Oh no, it's actually doing everything. Holy crap. Okay, so yeah. So oh that's what it was doing. Do you guys see what is happening? It's loading up the website. Which website? Our website. Yeah, do you guys see where URL is going? This is our URL right here. Oh. Shh, code camp. Yeah. Look at that. So let's see what is happening here. Uh, it is loading. And the first time it loads is going to be um, definitely slow because it's still uploading files to uh, the... Oh, there we go. Look at that. So this one was what's there before. And this is what is there now. This was a placeholder that that we had there, right? That they gave us. But this is our project. We have uploaded our project on to um, the web, pretty much. And we have this URL here, but we can just go to GoDaddy and get buy some DNS or rent some DNS or something and call it anything we want. We're keeping this for now because we're still learning, but eventually we will have our own. And um, so I'm, I'm just going to click here. And look at that. Look at that. It's like blip, blab. And again, right now we are being hosted. Uh, our application is being hosted in the cloud. And that was pretty quick. That was really fast deployment there. So now let me ask you questions. If you guys have been, have been really paying attention, um, how can I test if this is really our application? Well, I mean, we know this is our application because this is <laughs> this is the home of Arkham Motherfucker. Uh, so that's a dead giveaway there. But what is another thing that I can do to test that this is our application? What else does our application do? Do you guys remember? Create the counter. That's right. God damn it. Yes. You guys are good. So, you guys are too good, damn it. So, if I were to go here, home. So, if I were to go slash home, slash create character. Remember, our connection to the database it's kind of sort of sort of it if configured in the right way should work from anywhere so you see how i was able to do that from my local database i mean my local computer right but now our code is over there on the on the cloud so we're not sure if it's going to work so i'm going to try i'm going to hit this i'm going to go to this action and see if it created a character or it could crash i don't know it could do nothing Okay, so I'm about to hit this and let's see what happens. Here I go. Okay. Oh, Shazam! So we we got to the character created page, right? And I'm gonna go on the database, and it should have created a copy of uh, David Bowie, correct? I'm about to, I'm going to refresh it now and see if there's a new David Bowie. Oh, there it is. I have just refreshed it. 
And indeed, there is. Yeah, so we got two Goblin Kings now. So that is pretty cool here. So not only that were we able to just straight up upload our our project onto the web and, and be able to have it run right away, uh, we can do that as well and have it interact with the database as well. So imagine the possibilities of just being able to create one big project and just being able to update it and add things to it um, and have it online right away while having access to a database where we'll all have access to it. That is really, really powerful. And um, I'm pretty stoked about that. I hope you guys are as well uh, because it's, it's pretty powerful. Um, so imagine that we create a create character page. We could do that very easily. And would ask you, no, ask us the name, what level, uh, what class, and all that stuff. And whenever we hit um, submit, it would boom, create a new character. So you guys know where I'm going with this, right? So imagine all these cool pages, right, that you guys are going to create to expand. <laughs> you like that, right? Yes. So imagine all these cool pages that you guys are going to create to expand our project and our, um, our website. This is just a placeholder. We're not only going to we're not not only going to be uh, we're not going to be using this. We're going to be expanding and creating even our own brand and our, our own pages um, and add things that we learn. For example, whenever we we practice Bootstrap or we learn Bootstrap, boom, we update our website with Bootstrap. Um, anything we add and we learn, this is going to be the repository. Uh, for us to keep, you know, keep all the good stuff, to keep all the knowledge. Um, I'm thinking maybe creating a branch for each uh, each one of us, like maybe slash uh, Dan or slash Dave or slash Emma, and each one mm -hmm. of you have, you know, you have your own web page or, or your own um, anything really, and then we have a center. No, a central page that connects everybody or everything. I mean, well, the, again, the possibilities are endless. Um, how are you guys? Are you guys good so far with the website, the web page part of this? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's not like, I don't think it's difficult. It's not that bad. Um, yeah, but again, it's powerful. And it's tasty, and um, that that is definitely what we want here. Um, so yeah, so so this is good. I need to come up with some um, with a lot of well, with a few projects and homeworks that we're gonna be doing to expand our uh, hmm, our website. The third thing, well, the the. Third thing, ah, God damn it! I can't even talk anymore. Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, the third thing that we're gonna be doing or using this uh, for is we're gonna be using uh, cro what is it? Uh, source control. Yeah, it's been a, a weird day for me. Uh, we're gonna be using source control. Uh, that way, we all have the same uh, code. And we can share it, and we could update it, and do all sorts of cool things with it. Uh, I haven't set that up yet for us, but I will set up a branch that we can um, that we can get the code and uh, you know make it very easy. I will probably use the built-in one for for this because th this one has a pretty decent one. I just need to create an account. Uh, it's called Team Services. Uh, we'll create an account for us, for our group, and then we can just get our code and have it there and download all the cool things and update. So then once that is set, then we can go all out. And then we can really move forward in earnest and head, 
you know, have a clear goal, clear distinct goal, and finish up, well, finish up the second half of, um, I don't know, of our code camp strong. Um, any questions? Any questions? Any questions or comments? Are you guys good? You guys legit? Okay, no questions or comments. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, so I will be sending you guys uh, through probably, I don't know, private messages. Uh, the login information for uh, this account and the login information for pretty much anything you need so you can have access to um, all these services. All right. Um, so are you guys excited? Are you? What do you guys think about this? This is strong stuff, right? This is very cool stuff. Excited, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, now some if somebody out there if you're looking around in monster or indeed and they say hey have you guys used Azure? what is it azure app services in the cloud you could say what that's right motherfucker i have that's what you got to tell them you got to tell them that in an interview you get hired immediately if you say that's right motherfucker i i guarantee okay. it I guarantee it. But no, th this is good knowledge, though. I think overall, this is extremely good knowledge. I mean, you already know we're familiar with the local version. Now, let's get with this. Um, they have tons of other services. Um, Azure has a, a whole bunch of other services. But for now, these are the ones that we're just using. I mean, we could probably use some virtual machines or some other stuff, too. But for now, it is all good. This is this is legit here. Um, I don't want to hurt your heads too much. I don't want to, um, you know. I hope you guys. I mean, I know you got probably get absorbing a lot of stuff here, so I don't want to abuse you guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Uh, if nobody has any questions, I will be, like I said, giving you some of this info so you could get in there and uh, and just. Go around, click stuff, uh, create a database or use database and uh, and then see what's up. Um, I will be, after I send you the information for this, try to use it and see if you can log in and just like I did uh, and see if you have any problems or not. Um, that That's kind of the, the bugaboo or the tricksy uh, parts. Um, are we on for this uh, Sunday? Uh, I am good this Sunday. Um, New Jersey rent fair is done. Uh, so I am good at least until New York rent fair. Um, yeah, I, be I believe I'm, I'm good for Sunday, I believe. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. I think I'm good on Sunday. I'll have to double check to make certain. Yeah, let me know. I mean, we could always move it around Sunday itself, but we'll see. Uh, uh, Dave, how are you? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good Sunday. Okay. All right. So. Are you going? I'm sorry, what? I'm oh, sorry, are you going to the Mad Max Ball on Saturday? Ah, uh, yes. Indeed, I am. So I'll see you there, but then I'll be good on Sunday, too. Well, yeah, we, we don't really um, start till like, 3.30 or, yeah. Yeah, that's till, perfectly fine. Is it 3 or 3.30? I forgot. Um, three. Yeah, 3 o'clock. Yeah, we start around 3, so it, we, it's not, like, early or anything, and it's a bit flexible. But, yeah, no, I'm definitely there Saturday. And uh, I think we'll have enough rest, so we could be okay on, on, on Sunday. Okay, so everyone, um, we are done for today. And uh, get excited, man, because this is the beginning, man. This is the beginning of, of cash money. Cash money. All right. Uh, I am gonna, I'm about to stop recording here.